Hi, uh, you are watching Science in Plus and this is Romesh Shivastu. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting subject that is a four-day work week and its feasibility in India. To discuss in detail, uh, today we have uh, two very senior HR leaders. Let me introduce uh, Dr. G.P. Rao. Dr. G.P. Rao is currently working as a founder and managing partner uh, for the GPR HR consulting and uh, he's a uh, former CHRO of uh, Macron Malaysia and Reliance. Another senior HR leader is uh, V. Krishnan. Mr. V. Krishnan is currently working as a consultant at uh, Stanford seat and he is a former CHRO of Adams India and DABA. So, Dr. G.P. Rao, if I come to you first, so uh, the trial for the four day uh, work week is started in a couple of countries, especially if we talk about the US and UK. Uh, so, also around hundreds of companies have started uh, opting for the four days work week with the same package, with the same uh, benefits to the employees. If you look at the data, so Microsoft has started uh, its a trial in Japan, uh, Unilever has started its pilot project, a deep months pilot project in Australia and New Zealand, and New Zealand uh, uh, project is very successful. Uh, Amazon has started uh, in US, and other a lot of companies are there. If you look at the India, so also in India, a couple of uh, companies have uh, started the trial uh, for the four day work week. But I have not heard uh, about any uh, big company, big uh, IT company or uh, uh, manufacturing company. So how do you see the feasibility of four days uh, uh, work week in India? So, see, India is primarily a manufacturing hub. Uh, all said and done. So whatever we do in India, we don't uh, ignore that part of the operations. So if you want to do it only offices, only manufacturing companies, this is one. But when you do at across, then we'll have to think about this manufacturing locations which runs around the clock. So that's the first challenge in mind with the decision makers. The second part is there are many jobs which are time related, not exactly the output related. So that's the second challenge when we say, if you do four day a week, that means you only get four days of output, not the six days of output in four days. So that's the second challenge is in mind. The third challenge in mind is after COVID, the work-life balance is no more an issue to be addressed to. Anyway, people are doing hybrid working. People have tasted staying at home. Some people want to come back. So the, the benefit of staying at home for three days, that's no more a, a, a factor for this decision. So the three things I said, one is the large number of workforce in the factories, in the operations, which run around the clock. The second one is we are not clear whether in four days we get the same output that we're getting in six days or five days, not clear. The third, third issue is, will this really give the benefit of work-life balance or it will lead to three days of idling? So these are the major three challenges. People are still debating, mulling over, talking, internal discussing. Uh, that's the reason why it is taking time in India to go back and experiment in large numbers. So, Mr. Krishnan, what are your uh, initial comment on this? And uh, also, if I can take uh, the name of a couple of companies that have started the whole day work week here in India. So, one is uh, TAC Security, that is the uh, cyber security firm. Uh, Swiggy uh, started the four day work week uh, during the pandemic. Uyo has started four day work week uh, during the pandemic. Jiroda has announced in 2020 uh, one the uh, four day work week. But uh, but these are the startup companies. I have not seen uh, any big IT company, a big manufacturing company that has started four day work week here in India. So what is your opinion on this? I just build on what um, Dr. TP was saying. Look, India is a very, you know, large and diverse population. 
we have multiple sectors here manufacturing healthcare agriculture and of course it and services and all are there and in many of these sectors you know a four day week may not be uh, operationally possible you know so for example if there is a physical interaction between a man material and machine uh, for generating an output uh, and it has to be delivered 24 by 7 like let, let me give an example like right? my last organization was into appliances and home appliances and bike goods if somebody needs to get an appliance fixed on a weekend a service technician has to go there you know i cannot say it's a four day work right uh, similarly in in factories three shifts are working most indian companies work even now over time you know uh, it's not that 24 that three shifts are enough to Uh, you know, do the required job. So, in such an ecosystem, I really have no clue what kind of productivity or waste elimination is possible. That that entire work can be done in four days. You know, I don't think it is humanly possible. And uh, uh, the other thing, recently, you know, I read, I read a study on money control. That it was an ISO sponsored study. They said that India is among the top twenty most overworked countries in the world. You know, this is despite the fact that many of our offices and factories, even today, work six days a week. Some may be five and a half, but the many manufacturing centric companies which give only second and fourth Saturday off. So already after doing all this work, we are overworked. We are paying overtime. Uh, you know, so I really have no clue how four day will take off in in a such a vast, complex country like ours with so many sectors. Uh, so much of services to be provided 24 by 7. So, like Dr. GP was saying, maybe you know, maybe some IT, IT enabled services, kind of thing which don't have interaction of man with material, with uh, you know, machine, uh, and you know, can conveniently work virtually because they're part of a global organization. They're doing it globally. There is some global mandates for which they are adhering to. I don't see Indian India-based organizations taking on to this. Uh, in the near future there are uh, two concepts one is the office the factory will run for 7 days a week an employee works for 4 days a week so this is one concept the other is the office was open for 6 days a week or 5 days a week today it'll open for 4 days a week or a or a distribution center or a delivery center that was working for 6 days a week 5 days 4 days so the two different concepts like when we were in malaysia we were doing a 7 day a week round the clock working but we had a set of people they were coming 4 days a week every day they were doing 12 hours the 48 hours that means the company doesn't stop it is for the individual who has a break of 3 days but actually what we are starting now discussing is whether we can keep the operations open for 4 days shut it for 3 days save electricity save transport save supervision save engine that is what is talking about so that will not be possible in operations and manufacturing will be very limited to as christian said in those areas or those sectors where human connect the customer connect the delivery deadlines they are flexible that means you take orders And you deliver within four days. Next three days are off, totally shut down. So that's why. That's why I've thought of clarity. We have seen a lot of discussion here in India as well uh, in the starting of this 2023 about the work-life balance, the no flexibility, quiet quitting, a lot of things we have seen. So uh, why the discussion is not here for the four-day uh, work week? Uh, this is not about the manufacturing industry. We have a lot of other industries like IT industry, service industries. uh where there is the flexibility so uh, so here the question arises why we are not talking about the four day work week here uh, yes christian said we are already overworked so people are bored <laughs> people are worried <laughs> so what we couldn't do in six days or five days can you do it in four days then will that require more people to be engaged you know people are worried about those and my i mean academic uh, answer to this is instead of discussing four day a week three day a week six day a week why can't we discuss gig i am an employee you engage me for three days a week i am okay 
you engage me for three hours a day, I'm okay. So that will work longer and a sustainable basis because you you uh, if you only engage uh, people like me, you engage two people, no? For three days, one person, three days, another person. So the operation will not get affected. So I'm saying you should explore the gig concept also. Uh, the Unilever, which has started a pilot, pro uh, pilot project in New Zealand and uh, now they are also yes. starting in uh, Australia. So in New Zealand, they have uh, uh, what they have observed at uh, the four day week. It has helped them to engage their employees. It has helped them to improve the productivity and of course the work-life balance. What do you think? Do you think these are the benefits uh, of this uh, four days work week? It, we have to study if in the existing system, this five day week or a six day week is too much of pressure, too much of stress and people are really missing home and longer travels, no? very tough working conditions, eight hours of very stressful workload, maybe they will welcome. They will need because they need the rest. They need time to spend with the family. They need some time to take care of the, the, the requirements that has to be done at home, which they can't do on other working days. There are, there are situations. On the working days, they can't do anything for the family. They can't do any personal job. They can't go to a bank. They can't go to post office. They can't pay a fee. They can't go to school. Those kind of conditions, they will definitely, this will work and people will welcome. People will welcome. Krishna, sir, what do you think? Uh, is it, uh, is it uh, uh, going to uh, help in uh, employee retention and uh, work-life balance, of course, maybe? And uh, what about the, uh, the productivity? Is it going to boost the productivity of employees? No, a couple of things. You know, uh, when you say retention, look, retention has many dimensions. You know, like uh, I think uh, if you if you if you look at the uh, younger generation, the Gen Z as we call it, for them, you know, am I am I working on a cutting edge of technology? Am I is my employability going up? Is my you know is my future career being taken care of? You know. Uh, do I have the flexibility, you know, so there are many other So I think retention has many other dimensions like you know, culture, ecosystem, environment, uh, you know, so my, my my ability to contribute, am I being valued, am I being respected, do I feel like going, when I get up in the morning, do I feel like going to office or not, you know, so I think that's a much larger dimension to it. I think... Uh, I think, you know, while New Zealand has tried, Iceland is also doing something, Finland is doing something, pockets have been trying, but I think I'll go back to what GP also said. You know, today Indian organizations are also fairly empathetic and understanding to employees. Today, uh, most organizations, especially post-COVID, uh, have started giving, though everybody has, even, even the big IT companies, like, they are clearly saying they come to office for at least two to three days. Not for anything, they feel that there is a need for physical engagement in office, right? Then uh, companies have, apart from leaves, there are short leaves in some of these unwell. They say if you can work from home, you work from home. Why work are they hybrid? Don't apply for leave. So I think organizations have also become fairly understanding and uh, technology like Zoom and Teams and all have made people realize that Physical presence 24 by 7 is not mandatory to get work done, you know. So, given the background of all this and a bit of sensitiveness on health, wellness, respecting people's personal time, getting to the personal distance, a lot of these sensitivities have already come in. So, I don't see a four-day week, you know, kind of uh, bringing in any new angle to it. Uh, especially, you know, uh, either you will have to uh, make the operations run 24 by 7, but operate with a workforce which will come only for four days. Then that means that, you know, it, it somewhere adds to my complications of my employee cost and other things. And though the new labor code says that one can work well on the day, uh, I, hypothetically, 48 hours of working a week is possible, but, you know, humanly, it is not possible for someone to work 12 hours efficiently. So I would say uh, it is still too early days to see this as a, it may be a gimmick, like when pandemic started, uh, 
work from home was a uh, you know virtue people were saying uh, candidates were more keen on working for someone who will uh, give him permanently him or her permanently work from home at this today those things are becoming evening now evening so i don't think it is it is it is uh, it will be horses for courses for the kind of work for the kind of business i am uh, this thing as long as people are uh, if management is uh, leadership is sensitive to people personal needs their 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 work life balance issues and are providing for it ad- adequately i don't think uh, there is this will add any further dimension to it is my view at this point but mr krishnan uh, the four day work week that is also the part of this uh, labor court who's the which is already uh, in the process maybe if government starts or starts implementing by uh, next year or so then what to see what would be the challenges in implementing the four day work week and uh, how the child leaders need to prepare for this whatever i have read about the four labor codes uh, it somewhere says that 12 hour work day uh, will be allowed okay and in our country anyway more than 48 hours of working as of now is not allowed. so it mathematically means that i can make somebody work for four days 12 hours and be within the law now obviously that is the that that is the calculation of the arithmetic part now in india to get anything changes done on this there is a ministry of labor then there are trade unions there are many of them even now you would have seen a few days back the labor codes have not been passed you know then the people have people see it as uh, anti workmen anti by the way there are a lot of good things in that four labor codes you know people are doing business uh, or many things the government has taken care of. but there's a lot of resistance from a uh, lot of agents so i uh, because and even i personally as an hr professional feel that it is not possible to make someone work 12 hours a day four days a week and get that kind of efficiency out of that uh, person like this. okay on the productivity fund what can be done is that you know uh, like i am off late trying to read up a lot on this uh, generative ai and things like that one of the things i have learned is lot of work which is repetitive iterative high number crunching and things like that can be easily tackled through generative ai platform you know so on productivity front if you are able to because many of our organizations have lot of people only doing number crunching and you know uh, doing excel and sap data analysis so if we can get some of these things away and give it to platform make our work a bit more uh, uh, take out non value adding activity maybe then over a period of time some flexibility can be built up but frankly with the way the government is getting into making india a manufacturing hub like gp was saying and the world looking at india as a china plus one uh, kind of a uh, opportunity and with so much of this long term incentive the government is ruling out on you know electronic manufacture chip manufacture and ev that many other things i mean we are going to be a manufacturing centric organization unless like germany we get into fully robotic factories uh, where there is no human intervention like they are called dark factories they don't even switch on the light at night because robots they don't need light you know everything is programmable so if we get to that level of automation where uh, you know uh, You you really run robotized factories. Uh, maybe then the, your dependence on manpower will be uh, so limited that you may be able to manage with a very thin workforce uh, with no workmen and maybe have rosters of people coming in four days. But that's a that that will at least in Indian situation take at least about under anywhere between six to ten years in my view. And Dr. Jipira, what is your take on this uh, regulation part and uh, how do you see the child leaders need to prepare? You see, if the government decides the court gets passed, the rules will get, will follow. That's not an issue. I was giving an example of Malaysia, where the foreign workers were allowed to work for twelve hours into six days a week. They they they, they took a decision. Two countries signed an MOU. They said you can employ our workers twelve hours a day and six days a week. So the rules can follow. But then let us talk about the practicality. First thing, suppose I am an employee. i am offered a four day week i'll be happy that i am at home for three days 
But in four days, if you are giving me the salary that I was getting six days, I'll welcome, number one. The second time you say, no, you are coming in four days, you have to finish the job that you are supposed to do in six days. Oh, I'm feeling stressed. Oh, I mean, I have to work 12 hours a day or 10 hours a day. That's the second. The third will be, the one is the money, the second will be the workload. The third, more important dimension is, culturally, we are used to a weekend. So what do I do for three days at home? It will be, you need that family format changes, no? A, a, an earning member, whether male or female, three days at home. So then do the, that, does that person work for someone else? Then the fun of having that uh, break doesn't work. Because there's no point working, taking a, uh, taking three days off and two days work for somewhere. So that relaxation doesn't happen. So these are the issues. So it will definitely work in those kind of organizations where the, the compensation is primarily output related. So the guy comes, finishes the job in four days, enjoys three days. So that will work, definitely it will work. The second type of situation is you need the operation six days a week or seven days a week you will rotate people that means i work from monday to friday you work from tuesday to saturday another person works from wednesday to sunday so the weekends change that might work that might work and lastly that will work is if it is a gig pattern that means the fixed Fixed uh, salary, fixed allowances, house rent and all will remain. Some part it becomes variable, which linked to the attendance. People may can take that and they may try out uh, small, smaller assignments during those three days. That might work. So, but so far the legal things are concerned. Once the act comes and the rules will follow. I have seen, so that's not, a, I don't see a problem in that. If the act gets passed. Right. So actually, uh, the government looks serious because the Karnataka Assembly has also passed uh, uh, the bill in uh, this February 2023. Recently, it has passed for the 48 hours per day, uh, 48 hours per week and 12 hours per day kind of this bill. So uh, if it is being implemented, then what do you see the pros and cons of this uh, four day work week? From the HR point of view, yes, the government will not mandate you to work like that. The government will keep a provision that a company can opt for that provision in the law. That is the clarification of one. Number two, if the company opts for it, for HR, we have to do a reworking of our manpower deployment plan. Because if the company has got a manufacturing company, how will it manage the operations with four days a week? So we'll have more, more people. Okay. Right? More people. If it is just non-operations and service, so if it is a customer-oriented company that you have to supply, you have to serve, you have to do technology, technical services, you have to do deliveries and all. So you need people for six days. So, so the, what I said is multiple uh, calendar of four days. Uh, that will HR have to do it. The third most important part is for HR, for HR. So the it is there is a one is a psychological contract that company is doing this for me so that i spend more time at home so what do i give it in return so that what is given writing means the productivity should not suffer i am prepared to change my weekends uh, i will the, the output doesn't suffer while so while i am taking a break I, I, it's not that i'll switch off my phone if there's an emergency had to come, those kind of psychological contracts have to rework. And then people, if it is a 10 hours a day or a 12 hours a day, so that requires different kind of physique, different kind of mental strength, different kind of facilities, different kind of transport, canteen, those kind of things will have to work for that. And what will happen to uh, the renting of a place? Suppose... I have an office. I, I was doing it for seven, five days a week. Now, or six days a week, I'm doing it for three days or four days a week. What will happen to those kind of things? So for HR, 
manpower planning, psychological contract, and the physical and mental agility of the people to do that, and little of administration part uh, that HR will have to work for that. And uh, having and I'll repeat what I said: no government will mandate this, making it compulsory. It will always be an option to an employer uh, to work for it. And Krishna sir, what are your final comments on this? Government will give you guidance. Even today, it is eight hours a day, six days a week. But many companies follow five days. They slightly stretch the work hours, or they do five and a half. You know, so they adhere to the forty-eight hours, but do some flexibility around. So it will always be a guideline. On the operation side, uh, well, HR will have to. And suppose it happens, though I doubt if a rule or mandate will come. But even if some companies adopt to it. They are to get into roasters and things like that. But there again, you know, there will be challenges. For example, if someone were to tell me that you know you you work uh, Tuesday, you know you work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, no, my kids will not have school on Saturday, Sunday, and I would like to be at home. Or my wife is a teacher; she is at home. You know, like even in a even in an organizational situation, if you tell people that there is work, you come on a weekend and you take a comp off. You know, it is it is not easy you know because like gp said we are all wired to managing my work on monday to friday or monday to saturday half day or whatever it is and there is a saturday sunday or a half saturday sunday sacred time you know family programs get made social obligations get addressed the parents get home get handled so what i'm saying is it is it is it is not in an indian ecosystem where the Family is a very integral part of your supporting your work. You know, um, it's 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 not going to be HR will have much more challenges. You know, in terms of to tell someone suddenly, you know, you're personally four day, but you know, you take your off on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's not going to be an easy uh, decision. So operationally, things can can handle. Today, IT systems are there, HR systems, MS is there. So putting rostering, putting this thing is all not very difficult. But I think carrying the organization through this change management across every hierarchy in the system, right from factory workmen to uh, you know field operators, frontline sales, service technicians, office staff. So it will it will be a huge amount of change management, which uh, obviously HR will have to drive. They'll do it, but that emotional and psychological buying in is what will be uh, the large bigger challenge. So, uh, thank you, Dr. G.P. Rao and uh, Mr. B. Krishnan for joining the conversation and sharing your wonderful thoughts. Thank you so much, Ramesh. Thank, thank you, Ramesh. Thanks, G.P. Interesting topic. Thanks for the opportunity.